A surface tree is a procedural hierarchy of layered surface edits. Here, we have a tree with four layers. Layered edits can be manipulated by dragging them across the surface. Edits stick to the layers they have been placed on top of and maintain their relative position as the base layers are moved, resized, or deleted. The tree remains dynamic at all times. Our surface trees are based on dynamic local parameterizations called decals. Using the decal, we can displace the surface to create a local procedural edit which can be interactively manipulated. Our system is sketch-based. A user can extrude an area on the surface by drawing a contour and selecting an action from the suggestion list. Extrusions have various parameters like offset height, size, and falloff radius. The user can also sketch soft displacements. Varying the falloff radius creates smoother or sharper displacement. We can also create a displacement along a surface curve with an optional height profile curve. Here, the width of the displacement is proportional to its height. Sharp creases can also be sketched. Edges of the crease curve are directly inserted into the mesh to guarantee a sharp edge. An extrusion can be pulled along an arbitrary sketch spline. The spline can be edited by resketching, and an optional profile curve can be used to create a generalized cylinder. Our system also includes topology changing operations. Here we cut a hole in the bunny mesh. The ends of the hole are completely dynamic. In this clip, a handle is created between two spheres. The surface tree framework allows the handle to update dynamically as the underlying sphere is moved. Procedural edit nodes can be quickly duplicated. In this clip, parameters of the copies are linked to the initial edit. Any changes to that node will propagate to the copies. In this example, we create a simple tree and then make a copy of that tree and paste it back onto itself. The entire copy is linked, so it updates when the initial tree changes. The following clips are taken from a modeling session. They demonstrate how complex procedural surfaces can be created by layering smooth displacements. Linked copies are very useful for maintaining symmetry between edits. By interactively manipulating parameters, smooth displacement can be used to both add detail and make large-scale shape modifications. Hair is still a problem, but some styles are easy to approximate. Finally, we can go back and change the nose, the very first edit we made. The system maintains a fixed frame rate by only updating as many nodes as it has time to compute.